this is going to be a quick review of the itsy ritzy boss backpack mine is in the color black herringbone i did not pay full price for this because i am an itsy ritzy ambassador i'll leave your i'll leave my discount code in the description box but this bag is the first full backpack style diaper bag i have ever used i used to not be into backpack style diaper bags because I like to be able to just reach in to my bag next to me, grab something and give it. I didn't want to have to take the bag off of my back, but I decided to give this one a try and so far I have been liking it. I am going to show you at the end of this video how I have it packed up for my two kiddos, but for now I'm just going to show you the basics of the bag completely unpacked and empty and the internal structure of the bag all of that this bag retails for $159.99 on the itsy ritzy website and we are just gonna dive right in so this is the black herringbone print this is a very wipeable fabric i love that and then it has these pebbled vegan leather Let's see if you can see that accents there. I love this little tassel it comes with. You can take this off if you don't like the tassel. You can put it on your keys. You can leave nothing here. Some people hang key fobs from here. There's very many options. I love this. That all the Itsy Ritsy bags come with one of these, which is super cute. So first we're going to start with the outside structure of the bag. I'm just trying to make sure I can see the whole thing. Um, okay, so in here we have two magnetic closure pockets. I'm like super satisfied with the magnet, the way it sounds. I kind of wish there was two little ones instead of one in the middle, but that's just me being picky. So this pocket is huge. I mean like, I have pretty big hands and it completely fits, it's very, very big and holds a lot. I put like my wallet and phone and everything in here. And then we have a smaller one over here, which is about mm, a little more than half the size of this one. Same thing, huge, lots of room snap closure love that here we just have there's no snap closure or anything here but it's just a giant it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag like all the way down and it fits everything i just throw so much stuff in here it's insane um the bag has silver hardware which normally i'm a gold hardware person but i think with this black the silver's fine my itsy ritzy logo still has the plastic on it the zippers are buttery smooth i mean this is one-handed you can see it's just magic it comes with stroller straps which are attached i generally if i'm going to be getting in and out of the car and in and out of the stroller i won't leave the, or i will leave them here but if i'm not i'll put them in here or inside the bag somewhere but i do love that they come with stroller clips which are amazing this is a really nice grab handle. It has the pebbled leather texture up here, but a good grab handle is really nice. Um, okay, so on this side, there is a insulated snack pocket here. I'm gonna zip this up for now. And this is super cool. I've never seen this on any other bag, but it's just a snack pocket. It's not a bottle pocket. It's an insulated snack pocket, so this is good for any snacks that you need to keep cold. Super cool. On the back side of the bag, we have two backpack straps because this is just a backpack bag. The backpack straps are ergonomically shaped, which I love. They are super padded. In here is the mesh, breathable fabric. It's really nice, super comfortable. Here is the pebbled vegan leather texture. Super, super nice. In here is the changing pad that comes with the bag. I don't know if you've never had an Itsy Ritsy bag before, I'm gonna show you the change pad. It is not only huge, has a magnetic closure, which like so satisfying. And it says head and toes. And this thing is huge, like it's even taller than the bag, way taller, and it's super thick, super padded. I love it. Maybe once I don't have any kids in diapers, I'll use this for like my iPad or something. Can definitely fit a laptop in there too so here's the back of the bag it's super comfortable i never have a problem with it feeling heavy or anything and then here is just another insulated pocket and this is a bottle pocket 
I never really use this for bottles because I don't have a bottle fed baby, but this is a bottle pocket. Okay, on the bottom of the bag, it has the coveted Itsy Ritsy rubber bottom. I love this so much. It has the little logo. This is so it protects your bag from ever getting dirty or anything like that. Super cool. So it has double zippers and this is one thing I don't love about this bag. Okay, I love about it when I'm packing. Don't like it when I'm using. So this, oh, hold on, I need to take that out. Okay, so this flops all the way open, which I do not love, but I do love also. It's like a love hate. So inside the bag we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets for internal organization. And this little thing, which prevents things from falling down, which you'll see later in my packing portion of this video. And then here on the front flap, we have two mesh zipper pockets. So we also have this. This is that tech pocket I showed you in the beginning. This is felt. This is where I normally just put my keys. And then back here is a zipper pocket, which is about almost the full length of my hand. And it just zips. Up here they have a little key leash. I don't ever use that. Maybe I should find a use for it, but right now I don't. has one slip pocket here, which is... Let me see if I can show you guys a better look at the inside of the back. There we go. So we have one slip pocket here, which I love these pockets up here because you get to use the upper space in the bag. And then on this side, there's two little mesh pockets. Super cool. And then as far as the side pockets, we have this one, which is mesh. It's huge and it has this drawstring where you can tighten it. These are giant like diaper and wipes pouches. I kind of wish they were elastic to be honest because when they're empty, they're just like hanging open. But these are giant, like you can fit your entire life in there. And then you have this little magnet pocket, which some people magnet it. Some people just tuck the flap in and fill it. You can use these as bottle pockets too love those this internal structure of this bag is amazing these are so cool because you can fill this bag this part of the bag and then on this part you just have the two zipper pockets this one's a little bigger because you have the space up here that you can eat into so this one's bigger this one's a little smaller these are nice for changes of clothes things that you don't use a whole lot but you still want to have with you so those are super cool and then Normally, I will just do the bag like this to get in and out of it. You can just fold it halfway. And then, like I said, these zippers are just butter. So that's the review and the completely empty bag. It's beautiful. And next, I will show you how I have it packed up. Okay, so I am going to be unpacking this. We just got home from being out all day, going to a restaurant, so this is exactly how I live my life. <laughs> I have a almost four-year-old boy and a one-year-old boy, and that is how I pack for them. I am a huge overpacker. I like to be prepared and have everything I could possibly need in a day. So this is where I would normally use for a mommy pocket because most of the bags I use on a regular basis have a designated mommy pocket. This one does not, so I just use the front for that. In here I have a Jujube small set piece packed as a wallet for myself. I just have a card holder with some cards and a bunch of gift cards, my Fitzy Ritzy Ambassador discount stuff. Why is this not focusing? But anyways, Starbucks gift cards, you know, everything in here. In this pocket, hold on, let me see if I can get this to focus a little better. I love this little tassel it has here, super cute. In this pocket, I have Lysol, uh, Hello Bello hand sanitizer. That's it in there. Normally I have a chapstick in there too, but I think I left that in my car. Okay, in here, this giant catch-all pocket, I have a coloring book from Chick-fil-A, 
another coloring book from Chick-fil-A, another coloring book from Chick-fil-A, and my four-year-old's coloring things for restaurants. This is a Bumpkins, or Bumpkins pouch. This is obviously terribly used up. This is the medium size of the three Bumpkins pouches. This is just, you know, coloring book, crayons, all that stuff. What else do I have in here? My individually wrapped wet ones, which I love. I normally have four in there, but I used one today. That is it for that pocket. Some of these things I'm gonna put back in because it just keeps the structure of the bag. So I'm just gonna leave these in here so that it doesn't flop over on us. On the side, I love this pocket. This is an insulated snack pocket. I don't have anything in there because like I said, we were just out, but I normally will put cold snacks in here like yogurt, uh, applesauce, string cheese, anything like that in here. On the other side is a bottle pocket, which I don't really use as a bottle pocket because my baby, who just turned one, doesn't use bottles. He's breastfed. And I put both of their cups inside the bag for water. Sometimes I'll put my toddler's sippy cup here because he likes to get it out and put it back in and get it out and put it back in. Like if we're out in the sun and he's going to need to drink a lot. But for now, I just have these Frida baby. The sun is killing me. Frida baby breathe right, you know. It's kind of like boogie wipes, but they're just face wipes. Up here is where I normally put my keys in the tech pocket up there. There's nothing in there right now, so I'm not even going to open it. And then here is where the change pad is. Let's see, I need to move this up a little. Okay, here's the change pad. I love their change pad. And other things in here are just like, oh, these are from the breastfeeding group I went to the other day, but they gave us a bunch of these butt paste samples and that's all I have in there. Normally I also will put a, a couple disposable change pads in here that I lay down under this pad if I put it on like a dirty surface that I don't trust because I am a neat freak. Clean freak, I should say. Germaphobe, whatever you want to call it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find the best angle for this, but anyways. Okay, let's open up this bad boy. So obviously, we all know it flops open, but look how nicely everything stayed in there. Like, awesome. So I guess I'm gonna start with this big main part of the bag. <sighs> this is a replay snack stack with some dry snacks for the baby. Up here are like those puffs. And then down here are yogurt melts. And then right here is the baby's sippy cup, just water. Up here, normally this would be in here, but since he's teething like crazy right now, it's easy access. The little banana teether, love this thing. And then just a toy for him. My little guy filled with water everywhere. That's what you see in here. Okay, so back here, this is normally zipped, but I was literally just getting in here. I just have snacks for them. Fruit snacks. This banana nut granola bar thing. In here, this is the small Itsy Ritzy Snack Happens pouch, and I just have more dry snacks for them, normally for the toddler, my bug. There's some crackers and stuff, as you see in here. Love the avocado print. So cute. And more fruit snacks, honestly. So that's just where I keep a bunch of snacks, mainly for my older son. Except for the beach nut, that's for the baby. On this side, I just have a couple soft toys for the baby. This little donut thing is like organic, hemp, whatever. Super cute. He loves that. Okay, now let's see where do we start. Let's jump here. This is my toddler's water cup right there. This is my mouth bag. <laughs> this is where I have everything teething related, toy wise, that my baby will eat or I mean chew on. So right on top, there's a Itsy Ritzy teething necklace, a Itsy Ritzy binky, their new ones. Look at the arrow. How cute is that? A 
Another teething toy, the Itsy Ritsy Cactus. Um, a couple other teething toys and a bunch of inky clips so that I can clip whatever toy he's using to him so he doesn't throw it on the floor. So this is just where I put anything that he's going to be putting in his mouth. And this is just the bigger size of the Itsy Ritsy Snack Happens bag. Let's see if I can get this to focus better. There we go. So this is the bigger size of the Snack Happens bag. And right here I have a medium jujube set piece packed with toys for my big kid <laughs> at the restaurant or whatever to entertain him. Just a bunch of shapes, these little things you like can put them together in color or sequence or anything like that. And then he just has some Paw Patrol toys in here too. So things that will entertain him while we're like waiting for our food or if he's done eating and we aren't. And then on this side, I have like medicines, thermometer, saline drops, homeopathic stuff for teething. I normally have a lot more in here, but it seems like we are not needing as much as the baby gets older. Oh, here's the other teething tablets that I normally have in there. I just used them, so I didn't put them back in the pouch. And this is a sm the small size of the bumpkins, three pouches. These are so nice. I love them. The clear fronts are awesome. Okay, and then in here is a large jujube set piece with diapering needs for the baby. In here I have those Hello Bello diapers. Not sure how I feel about them yet. They're super cute though. These have like sloths all over them. Love it. Um, right now I'm kind of a Huggies brat. <laughs> the Huggies little movers are my favorite diaper at the moment. But in here I have one, two, three, four, five, six size three diapers. And a Aqua 4 down here for the baby. And I also have just some little baggies in there for stinky diapers or anything like that. And then here I have a pack of Pampers wipes, which is almost gone, but this is right now the only wipes I use. I love them so much. They're the Pampers sensitive, but a full one definitely fits in there. Let's make sure I got everything out. Yes. And then down here I have my Itsy Ritsy Mom Boss. This is like a nursing cover slash car seat cover. Um, I'll be honest, I never cover when I'm nursing, so I don't use it for that, but I still keep it in here for like an extra blanket or if the baby falls asleep, I can cover whatever he's sleeping in. And then down here I have the large piece that, you know, the bumpkins of the three, and this just has extra clothes for the baby. It's just a onesie and socks. Um, used to have pants in here too, but since it's summer now in Arizona, we don't really need pants. So, that's awesome. Down here I just have feminine needs, which you don't really need to see for that time of the month. And then in here, I have another Itsy Ritsy Snack Happens pouch. This is the cactus print. I love this. These are my everything. And in here I have a disposable placemat, a disposable bib, a silicone placemat, and a little sidekick thing for his sippy cup so he doesn't throw it. I can attach this to the high chair and attach it to his sippy cup. So that is for the restaurant. Everything in here is like restaurant needs and we go out to eat a lot. We're actually going out again tonight. My cousin's in town. <coughs> I honestly think that's everything in here. Yeah, I put that back in there. Yep, that is everything. So I'm just going to zip this back up. Thanks for watching, guys.